Okay, so you guys, watch me. It's important, all right? I'm gonna do box model of some of those shapes. Let me start with the seat, for example, on that motorcycle. Okay, you guys? The way you work it out is very simple. You go into one of the viewports uh, that has your shape. One of the orthographic viewport, okay? Let's say like that one right here. And I'm gonna go into polygon box and I'm making a box right here. All right, the size doesn't really matter for now, okay? And then I'm gonna look at my top view right there and I'm gonna replace my object that I just made right in the middle right there of that, just like it is. You see, it's located both. Now, what's important to understand is that I want to be able to see through my mesh right here to go to follow basically the contour of those drawings, okay? So I'm going to give you the shader. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say assign new material like we did for the pictures. But this time I'm going to select a blin. I'm going to click on the color right here. I'm going to select a blue. And then make it a little less opaque. Exactly. I think you're a modeler. I'm not kidding you. You're picking up really quickly. And then making it less, op less opaque right there. Okay. Now, it's very simple game. We just need to get the overall shape. We are going to go to the subcomponent level, remember, the vertex, the point, the edges, and the faces we discovered last week. We're going to replace them where they belong. Then we're going to select the face and extrude it, making more of it, basically. And then we replace every time in both the pictures. So I'm going to do it right here, right now. So I'm going to go right there, say vertex. I'm going to move that one with the move tool where it belongs, let's say right here. That one will belong right there, for example. And those one, I'm going to bring them back. So I'm going to bring them back together pretty close to create that little indent and fluff it up a little bit up right here, fluff it down a little bit right here. So are you like making the seat and the wheel and everything like that different objects from each other? Yes. Everything that is animated needs to be different objects. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go in the top view right here and I'm going to do the same thing. I select all the top and bottom one and replace them. You can use the scaling tool, you can use the moving tool, you can use the rotating, rotating tool. Now that I've done with that, the two, replacing the two side pictures, I'm gonna right click on my object, select the face, the inside face right here. And with that inside face, I'm gonna simply go back to one of my viewport and say, mesh extrude. And I'm going to grab one of the handles and extrude it a little bit up all the way until the shape changes. So I'm going to look, does it change a lot right here? Yes. So we're going to go a little easier on that and go all the way maybe right here. Then I'm going to right click, select the vertices, and then bring them where they belong on the picture. I follow the picture. It's really easy. There's nothing to that job. All right. Right here. Now I'm going to go right there and replace, you know, as it should. Actually, that's good. Now I'm going to go back up front. It's important to replace, extrude, replace, extrude, replace, extrude, and not extrude, 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 and then replace, replace, replace. Because when you extrude and replace, the next extrusion will have the shape of your replacement. So let's work to replace after. All right? So I'm going to right click, select the face, right click right here, and I'm going to extrude again, right there. And bring it forward a little bit, and I'm going to replace those place, those vertices. Is there place inside of edit mesh? Yes, right click, it's the subcomponent. Right click on the mesh. It's a mesh, okay. No, right click on the mesh. Oh, right click, okay. Okay, and then you can select vertices or faces, all right? And then you go and you replace those. Right here. Uh, the under needs to be replaced also. They need to be played with. Not that much here, but a little bit. Right here, 
right here. Okay. Now I'm going back here, right click, select the face, right there, extrude again. Extrude again, I bring it right back here, select the points, scale it down right here to get the shape. Same thing right here. I come back, right click, vertex, bring it here, select the move tool, move it down, right here. Do the same thing right there to follow the shape. Doesn't get much deeper than that. Right click, face, select the inside face. Oops, right here. Select the inside face. Extrude. Right there. Start scaling it. Replace the mesh. Right here. I'm going to keep the shape nice and clean. Right there. Um, it is important to sometimes rotate your edges. So you can double click right here. So it is important to have the edges that rotates with the mesh. So I'm going to select those edges right here and rotate them a little bit. So it gets to the proper shape of what I want. See like that. And I'll move that the whole thing right here maybe and I'll rescale it after. And I can grab those vertices right there, move them right here. Maybe move that one a little bit. To try to get a little bit of the uh, shape of that object. I'm going to stop right there because like that I'll be able to extrude that lace. And I'll go right here. And right here, I'll move those right there, and that right here. See that? It works for now. Same thing, face. Oh, no, second here, what's going on? Let me put that object in the mesh layer. As a save. It needs to be right here. Okay, so right click back, go to the face, and keep going. I'll extrude again. I'll bring it down right here. Right click on those. Grab those right here and move them right there. And I'll play with that shape and I'll get it pretty much ready for the next. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up a little bit my mesh right here for now. Okay, so let me just place the, the point, replace the point, you guys, in the proper position, following the drawing. Okay, well now we just have to keep going. Extrude again. And I'll do a little extrude this time to get a little bit of the rounded shape. All right. Right here. Right there. To get the shape going properly. And just scale it down after that. 